For this project, you will need oil pastel, paper, and a pencil. Let's get started. Well, I'm going to show you how to do this triangle tree. You can do a couple different variations of trees and when you're making it, as long as you divide your tree and your background into sections, then you can kind of be creative with this. You could do a moon instead of a sun. All right, for your assignment this week, we are going to make a Christmas tree, a winter tree with oil pastel. So you're going to start with your pencil and at the bottom of your page, I want you to make a small hill, snowy hill for the ground. From there, we're gonna build the bottom of our tree, just like that. And then we are gonna make a triangle shape for our tree. Now the point of this assignment is not the complexity of the picture. The point of this assignment is the blending of the pastels that we are going to do, which you should have your oil pastels because you should have picked up your art bag. Oh, and those should be in there. All right, in my background, I'm going to make a line going this way. And I'm gonna add a sun. From the sun, we're gonna make a few rays. So they're going off at an angle like this that goes to the edge of the page. So we have that there. I think I'm gonna add one more here. And for my background area here, I'm gonna divide this up into pieces as well. And you could be using a ruler for this if you really wanted to make nice straight lines. Um, if you want it to be more organic or loose, that's okay as well. This is for our snowy, hilly area in our background picture. And then inside our tree, we are going to also make some shapes like stained glass. And I wanna make sure that these are different than the ones in the background so they don't look like they attach to each other. Like so. All right, for our outlining, you can use your black permanent marker or your black oil pastel and outline all of your pencil lines. Using this with your black, you wanna think about line weight. So line weight is how thick or thin a line is. So like something like this outline of my tree or the one side of the outline of my tree is probably going to need to be a little bit of a stronger outline than maybe this side of the tree or maybe than the um, snowy hill in the background. Just if you differentiate your line weight and you make things, some things a little bit thicker or thinner, it helps make your picture stand out and look more interesting. I'm just making a little bit thicker outline on my tree here to help define my tree. Like so. Now we're gonna be selecting pastels to do blended color inside of our tree. So for my tree, I'm gonna use the dark green and the light green. Also, I'm gonna use the blue in combination with the dark green. So we're gonna make these colors look like they blend together. I'm gonna to start at the top of one section with my dark green. And I'm coloring and filling in really well with my pastel and then I'm only pressing a little bit lighter when I get to the middle of my section. I'm gonna take the light green and towards the end, press really hard with the pastel and fill it in and color up to that spot where I did a lighter version and those colors will now mix and blend together. So I'm gonna be doing that for all of my sections with my dark blue and then my dark green when they blend on top of each other, they make a nice trans smooth transition. And I'm gonna complete my tree just like this. For my trunk, I'm going to use brown and black. So I'm gonna start with one end as brown. And I'm gonna actually do more brown than black because we don't want it to be too dark in here. And then I'm gonna take my black and I'm gonna add that on this side. And I'm going to blend my brown again on top, like so. For our background, I'm going to use a combination of white, purple, and blue. So I'm gonna actually transition three colors. I'm gonna start with white on one end. I'm going to add blue, and I'm not gonna fill the blue in all the way, because I'm gonna add the white again on top to make a lighter blue to layer those colors together. And then I'm gonna transition into purple. So I have white into the lighter blue. Now I'm going to add my purple overlapping them just like we did before. 
And then I'm going to take my blue again here, so that way it makes a really nice transition. If you ever have an area where it doesn't look like it's blending together, just go back and layer the colors again. And it works just like that. I'm going to continue to do that all across the background, but I think I'm going to um, be opposite. So on this end, I'd start with purple to go to white, and then white to purple again, and back and forth. Now, if your pastel ever gets dirty like my white, you just wipe it off with a paper towel or tissue and can make it back to white again. For my sky, I'm going to use yellow and orange and red and pink. So I'm going to start in my sun and start with my yellow color. That will transition to orange. And once I add my orange in there, I see that it's kind of dominating that yellow area. So I'm going to take my yellow again and blend back on top which helps make that smoother transition and blend up colors. In my small rays I'm going to do the yellow and orange and then in my bigger rays I am going to do the red and pink. And there you have it, your complete picture. Please remember to send me a photo of your work.